Hello everybody, this is Slaw Dog with Slaw Dog's Off-Road Shenanigans. We're right now currently at Famous Reading Outdoors, the Darkwater property. I have the great privilege to be riding today with Mike from the Beaten Trail. Mike has recently purchased a brand new Yamaha Grizzly 700 XTR as you see here. This is his very first ride. And again, I'm super, super excited to be collaborating with Mike on this ride. This is going to be a casual ride. It's not going to be anything crazy. It's going to be pretty much a you know, tour around, check things out, and uh, just make sure Mike's comfortable on his new machine and he has a buddy there with him just in case. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys. Time, I'm gonna, I'm just, I'm just gonna be uh, too high. Yeah. And then just if we're gonna go anywhere, don't. Uh, yeah. You know. You'll check, be fine. check in with me. Like I said. I'm not gonna it. be. Trust me. I'm not gonna put you in a position where you're gonna be in any trouble. So. Yeah. Let me make sure I got my strap on. Yeah. Put that on. If you plan on leaving this machine, I don't want to be there to witness it. So. <laughs> ah, you'll be fine. This machine's not meant to be. It, it's a climber, man. I'm telling you, and it's a mutter, but uh, I'm excited. You're gonna love it. Cool. Well, I'll follow you. Yep. Like we'll, I said, we'll switch around. Yeah, we'll turn around and we'll go back down this way and we'll head over right. across. If I have any issues, you'll see my lights flash. I'll I'll, cool. I'll see you in the mirror. Cool. Thanks, man. Be safe. So here we are, leaving the parking lot, heading down into the valley. As you guys notice, I do check my mirrors quite often. You can see it in the camera. I normally lead when we ride with our groups just because I'm the one with the uh, the Onyx off-road app which is a great GPS app so I'll have guys sometimes time to time tell me hey he's not turning around looking for us but actually I can see them I'm checking them in the mirror all the time making sure everybody's back there a good tip for those who lead groups that have mirrors I always tell the guys that ride with us, turn your headlights on. That way I can see them. A lot of the camouflage quads are extremely difficult to see in the, you know, late, uh, early spring, heading into the end of fall when there's foliage on the trees. I know Tom, who rides the Grizzly 660 with us, his quad, especially in a humid morning when it's foggy, I actually can't see his four-wheeler unless his headlights are on. So I think it's a good tip. Alright, which way you wanna go? Wanna head this way? Let's it's up to, to you. Kelly's Hollow, it's fine. What's that? Kelly's Hollow? It's right up here. Oh, you go that way, you don't go around that way. You can go that way, we can do that. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, okay. I can smell it. You smell it now? Oh, yeah. Burning the paint off. All right. You want to head towards the 901 area? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll take so our we're, time. Where do you want to go? Like I said, this is a big rock. This is your ride, not mine. This is your ride. Yeah. Okay. 
Seriously. And if I'm going too slow, say go, go, go. <laughs> Now we've decided to leave this area, which is called Kelly's Hollow, and start the trek over towards the 901 Pub area. Anyone familiar with this property knows that that's a pretty good trek from Kelly's Hollow, which is on the east side of the Darkwater property, all the way over to the 901 Pub. We're going to take our time. Along the way, I'm going to cut some of the video, and let's see what Mike uh, can get himself into with this brand new Grizzly uh, 700 XTR. It's going to be pretty cool. I'm not holding you up. No. Okay. No, I, How are you going to be at the hill down here? You going to be all right? It's not that bad. I think so. I mean, just keep it in. Just, you can turn the four wheel drive on. You're not going to need it. Yeah. I would just go up it in low. Yeah. I go up in low. Yeah. Okay. You'll be fine. These tires, you won't need four wheel drive. Okay. But I usually, I go to the left. That's up to you if you want to go to the right. I'll go wherever direction you want to go. Well, you mean you take the left up? Yeah. Is that easier? Eh, they're about the same. When we get there, we'll assess it. Sound yeah. good? All right. Good. You'll be fine. Yeah. Just pick your line, stay in it. So you said low. Low. And you know what, Mike? Turn your four-wheel drive on. It's gonna. It, I, I think you're gonna feel more comfortable with it. Yeah, It'll pull you right up the hill. What's up with this guy? He's waiting. Yeah, the four-wheel drive will just yank you. You know from your side by side. Yeah, just yeah. watch your belly. Pick your rocks. Try not to go off to off kilter. Yeah, I'll take. I'll take it easy. Yeah. I'll wait for you to get up yep. there and give me a wave. Let me get halfway and then. Just stay in it, okay? Yep, yep. My 16-year-old did it first time riding on this. He did great. I'm like, just stay in it, don't stop. Awesome. Piece of cake. Yeah. Pulled you right up, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. We'll keep going. All Good right. job. All right. Mike did a great job climbing that hill. I can see his confidence level growing. I did suggest him using the four wheel drive on the hill. He has great tires on this Grizzly XTR. However, I felt him using the four-wheel drive would definitely yank him up the hill and give him a little bit more confidence. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna slap together some clips, not to bore everybody with a three, four hour ride. However, stay tuned for the end because Mike gets his drone out and gets some really cool footage of us riding back down towards around the parking lot area. So stay tuned for that. Let's go. 
on it, now you're fine. Yeah, you don't want to go that way. Huh? You don't want to go that way. No. Oh, it's coming down it is one thing, going up it is another. All right, we'll go this way. Yeah, I'm just recommending it. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Have fun. finishing our loop heading back from the 901 track back to the dark water parking lot and I've asked Mike if he feels comfortable to go ahead and take the lead so Mike does just that and takes the lead
perfect. Take your time. Perfect. Perfect. Good job. Here we are now returning to the parking lot. All in all, I think it was a pretty good ride. As you can see, I uh, caught my mirror on a branch, spun it around. That's a shame. So, gotta fix that. But anyway, Mike did pretty good. In the beginning, you could tell he was getting his feet wet, getting on an ATV again after riding a side by side for how long. But he did really good. And I could tell at the end he was having some great confidence in himself while he was riding that ATV, especially when he took the lead. Um, he, uh, he did really well. So look forward to another ride with Mike and hopefully his crew and our crew meeting up sometime and doing a big group ride. That would be awesome. So as I stated in the beginning of the video, when we return to the parking lot, Mike gets his drone out, does some shots of us from the air. Stick around for that. It's pretty cool. Also, Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe, share, follow. We greatly appreciate it. Our crew appreciates it. And I know the beaten trail will appreciate it as well. Thanks, everybody.